follow your passion, they say. Well, this is the first mindset shift I want you to make. I don't believe in finding your passion. I believe in passion finding you, or rather you finding kind of each other. It, in that way, it works a lot like love or inspiration or the perfect partner or the perfect job. Alan Watts, the philosopher, called this the backwards law. Stop trying to get it and you'll have it. What tends to happen is we get things when not when we're trying to actively force it, but when we uh, are rather content without them, but still being open to, to receive it. To give you an example, I wasn't always passionate about creativity and creating products for idea generation. It's only something that came about after I was tasked with leading a creative team at a, a workplace I was working at at the time. And while I had this kind of intuitive ability to, to generate ideas and I, I kind of had this intuitive process, what I've realized over the years that not all of my team members could tune into that intuition or, or couldn't find a way to, to generate ideas easily. So I needed to make my team more effective and to do that I started looking into documenting my own idea generation process and also looking at other tools and, and processes for implementing. And so creativity through that research and through that kind of learning about the, the, the processes is something that became one of my key passions and it's my key passion today and the reason why I'm sharing this class with you. And the same goes for brand strategy which is one of my very uh, big passions today. It's only something that came about after I worked in website design and later logo design and product design and later marketing to kind of start learning about brand strategy and something that I really love today. But I didn't set out to find those niches initially. I didn't even know what I would find. I certainly didn't set out to, to find those niches. So I was actually just putting my foot in front of the other, kind of taking new opportunities and saying yes to new things and gradually learning about myself and, and kind of taking into diving and dipping my feet into different kind of pools, learning more and more about myself and eventually getting good at those things. So passion, I found, is something that you can develop after you become good at something. 